Welcome. This is a tutorial to explain how to use maps in AutoCAD, how to rescale and reprint them. I already have a map downloaded from Digimap. So the first thing to do is to create a new layer in Layer Properties. So I click on New Layer and I call it Map and I change the color to blue. Click OK and I activate the layer and close the layer manager. Now click on insert and attach and here is the map I already downloaded so I open it. Now a very important thing is that in AutoCAD in model space you work in scale 1 to 1 while the map I downloaded was scaled 1 to 10,000 to make it one to one I have to scale it up 10,000 times so on scale I have to change the scale to 10,000 then I click OK and insert now I zoom extent and I can see the whole map in my model space I can zoom in, out and pan my map. To make sure that the scaling was done properly I have to check the distance between the grid lines. The grid lines are set one kilometer from each other so I go and measure and uh, from one grid line to the other one it's one million millimeters so it's uh, correct the scaling was done properly now I have a map scaled 1 to 1 if I would like to highlight some areas or trace some areas I can create a new layer I'll call them buildings I activate the layer and change the color to red click OK close the layer manager and say I would like to highlight these buildings near the river so I zoom on them click on line or polyline and I just drew the line around the buildings like I was working on a tracing paper so I drew a line around the buildings and I'm going to hatch the areas so I click on hatch and I go on a predefined pattern and say this pattern looks good so I click OK and I set the scale to 100 add pick points and I click in the middle of the building and just enter and OK now it's a bit dense so I click twice on the hatch and scale it up to 400 now it's much better and the angle of the line looks a bit odd so I going to change the angle to 30 degrees let's see now that looks good so I'm going to do the same with this building and just copy the properties of this hatch to here so I have the buildings hatched and my map scaled 1 to 1 now if I would like to print this map in scale 1 to 5000 on an A1 paper I have to click on layout 1 and right click on the active layout and go to page setup manager 
I have to modify it and here I have to set a printer which is going to be a DWG to PDF and set my paper size to A1 ISO A1 and it's a landscape paper and it's a very important thing plot scale should be scale 1 to 1 and I'm going to plot the layout uh, plot style table I go on a grayscale and quality I go on maximum although if you go on custom you can go up to 600 dpi if you'd like to but I go for maximum this time and I click OK and I close the page set manager now I have to create a new layer and I name it viewport and it's going to be yellow and it's going to be a layer that I'm not going to print so I turn off the printer and close the manager again uh, this red box is my viewport so I change the layer to viewport and just adjust the viewport to the A1 paper no. okay. now if I double click in my viewport I can pan and zoom out and in and move the objects I have and also I can set the scale for that I have to click on viewport scale unfortunately 1 to 5000 is not on the list so I click on custom and add so I can add a new scale it's going to be 1 to 5000 so I leave the paper units at 1 and the drawing units 5000 I click OK now it's on the list so OK again and I go 5000 and the area I would like to show is the area I already highlighted so I pan the map that's it I click on model so I close my viewport and now I only have to click on plus now again I can amend my settings but it looks good so I click on OK and I can choose a location to my file and the name so I just save it to here my document folders and I call it map 1 to 5000 and I click on save And I just have to wait for AutoCAD to create the PDF and it's here and the area I highlighted is shown on the PDF so if you go with this PDF to printing shop and you print it on an A1 paper then it has to be scale 1 to 5000 that's it thank you